Welcome to this international service marking the fifth Sunday of Easter. Jesus is alive. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. My name is Jolian Tricky and I work for the Anglican Communion Office as the coordinator for intentional discipleship. Can I welcome you to my home even as you welcome us into your home. Jesus, the Lord Jesus, is with each of us and our homes are one of the most important places in which we encounter Jesus and we seek to live Jesus-shaped lives. Mindful of how hard it is to lead such a life in practice and how often we fail, Let's come together humbly before God in confession. A moment of quiet reflection. Christ died to sin once for all, and now he lives to God. Let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil and to confess our sins in penitence and faith. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with the living bread. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. And today's collect. Almighty God, who through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, have overcome death and opened to us the gate of everlasting life, Grant that as by your grace going before us, you put into our minds good desires, so by your continual help may we bring them to good effect. Through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We turn now and listen to Psalm 31, verses 1 to 5 and 15 to 16. These are read in Spanish by Sumzi Laborde. She's a member of the congregation at Catedral Santa Maria Virgen in Jalapa. This is in the Diocese of Anglicana del Sureste, that is the south, southeastern Anglican Diocese, and that's in La Iglesia Anglicana de Mexico, the Anglican Church of Mexico. Lectura de Salmo 31 del Libro de Oración Común, versículos del 1 al 5, 15 y 16. En ti, oh Señor, he esperado, no sea yo avergonzado jamás. Líbrame en tu justicia. Inclina a mí tu oído, apresúrate a librarme. Sé tú mi roca fuerte y fortaleza para salvarme, porque tú eres mi risco y mi castillo. Por tu nombre me guiarás y me encaminarás. Me sacarás de la red que han escondido para mí, pues tú eres mi refugio. En tu mano encomiendo mi espíritu. Tú me has redimido, oh Señor, Dios de verdad. En tu mano está mi destino, 
líbrame de la mano de mis enemigos y de mis perseguidores. Haz resplandecer tu rostro sobre tu siervo. Sálvame por tu misericordia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is taken from Acts chapter 7, verses 55 to the end, and it's read in English by Wai Teng from Kuala Lumpur, a member of the Diocese of West Malaysia in the Church of the Province of Southeast Asia. Today, Bible reading is from Acts 7, chapter 55. But Stephen, full of the Holy Spirit, looked up to the heaven and saw the glory of God, and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, he said, I see heaven open and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. At this, they covered their ears and yelling at the top of their voices. They all rushed at him, dragged him out of the city and began to stone him. Meanwhile, the witnesses slayed their coats at the feet of a young man named Saul. While they were stoning him, Stephen prayed, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he fell on his knees and cried out, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. When he had said this, he fell asleep. This is the word of God. according to St. John, chapter 14, verses 1 to 14. And this is read in Pidgin by Archbishop Alan McGee, who retires on Monday as the primate of the Anglican Church of Papua New Guinea. John, chapter 14, verses 1 to 14. Jesus, he talk more all same. You play in a can bell heavy, not thinking plenty. You play belief long God, you play must believe long me too. Long hours belong Papa, below me he got plenty room stuff. 
na amigo bilang ready place bilang yu pala. Suppose you know all same, all right. Me know you not make him this plateau long yu pala. Na suppose me go ready place bilang yu pala. But me come back, na kisi me pala go stop one time me. Na place me stop long end. You pala too by stop long end one time me. Na you pala is have a finish. Lo road bilang yu go long this place me like yu go long end. Tomasi toki man. Big pla, you go away. And me pla, you no save. All seven of them, me pla, you no save long road. And Jesus is talking to me more same. Me head me road. Now me has belong talk through. Now me has belong lie. You know got one pla, man, you no become long. Papa belong long not pla road. No God. Long meet us all. Suppose you pla, you save finish long me. Now by you play in Absawe long Papa belong me too. Now you play is start long Sawe long me. Now you play he look him and finish. Philip he talk, he talk him to you so say. Big pula, you say Papa long me pula. Now let's play by in up him like. Now think thing belong me pula. Now Jesus he talk him and Philip. Long pula time finish Mr. One time you pula. Now you know Sawe yet long me. Uh, Money looking me and looking papa. All the money now you talk, you say papa long me pla. I think you no know, believe long me stop long papa. Now papa he stop long me. Talk me give him long you pla, and me you no know, make him long thinking long me yet. No God, papa he stop long me and he say make him all walk long me. You pla he must believe long this plateau. Me stop long papa, na papa is stop long me. Suppose no God, or I keep like must sting him, or get a walk, me say we make him, na this plan by, he, he clear up in belief, long you plan. Through too much, me talking you plan. Man in belief long me, by, by M2, he make him all kind of walk, me say we make him. Na by M2, he make him all big plan walk, he win him walk, me be make him, long one him, me go long papa. Now, nah, all that something you plan, he ask him, long name belong me, and by me make him. Also, no papa, by kissing big name, long picking it belong him. All that something you plan, he ask him long name belong me, and by me make him. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise be to you, Lord Christ. And to offer us our sermon today, we welcome. Uh, the Right Reverend Dr. Robert Innes, who is the Bishop of Gibraltar in Europe. We're living in an Easter season under lockdown. Seldom has my diocese, the Diocese in Europe, been so united in a common cause with the rest of the Anglican Communion. Europe, like the rest of the world, like the developing world, is struggling with the COVID-19 pandemic. The statistics in Europe are shocking. 1.5 million confirmed cases and 145,000 COVID-related deaths. And it's the elderly, the, the vulnerable, the migrant who are most at risk. Many in the global south worry that the worst is yet to come. What will be the effects of coronavirus on South Asia and Africa? We don't yet fully know how far the virus has spread, but health systems in developing countries are less well equipped to deal with an outbreak. Our diocese is twinned with Luiro in Uganda, and reports from Uganda suggest that the human toll of the lockdown is already evident. Children go without vaccination and crops are not harvested. In the global south, the economic effects could be as harmful as the virus itself. Across the planet, the pandemic generates fear and anxiety. What is to come? How bad will it be? How will we cope? When will it end? When I turn to the Bible, I'm so often surprised and delighted at how my own experience has parallels with the characters in Scripture. And today is no exception. In John chapter 14, our Gospel reading, we meet the disciples in the upper room just hours before Jesus is arrested, tried and crucified. Of course, in one sense, John is uh, recording a time of victory. 
the prince of this world is about to be overcome, Jesus is about to be glorified. Yet the moment of the Saviour's highest triumph is from another aspect, the moment of the disciples' deepest loss. The leader on whom they have utter, utterly depended, whom they've given up their livelihoods to follow, is about to be taken from them. And so they are anxious, fearful, full of unanswerable questions. Jesus' word to the disciples is a word for all time, for all places, and for us today, wherever we are, whatever our circumstances. He says to them, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Christ himself knew what it was to have a troubled heart when he wept at the death of his friend Lazarus, when he contemplated betrayal at the hands of Judas, when he anticipated death on a cross. It is this Christ who knows the human condition from the inside, who has tasted the bitterness of a troubled heart. This Christ who exhorts the disciples, believe in God, believe also in me. I love the imagery from our psalm today. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. Many or most of us are currently hiding away in our homes, self-isolating, being shielded, as we say. And so it is in the spiritual life we can know that our inner being is held safe and secure in the arms of God, our refuge and our rock. But the thing about faith is that it grows in strength over time. It's a matter of putting down deep roots and nurturing our faith through study and fellowship and prayer, so that when trouble strikes, we have a secure and dependable spiritual anchor. So that we can say in the words of a 19th century hymn, On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. Usually in life we know the destination, even if we don't know the way. But in spiritual matters, as Thomas in our Bible reading discovered, it can be the other way round. Jesus is the way, but the destination may be unclear, and the journey of faith is made one step at a time. As John Henry Newman put it in a hymn he wrote when his own heart was deeply troubled, Lead kindly light amid the encircling gloom, lead thou me on. The night is dark and I am far from home, lead thou me on. Keep thou my feet, I do not ask to see the distant scene, one step enough for me. Whilst we don't quite know how bad the COVID-19 crisis may become or when it will end, I nonetheless take inspiration from those heroes and heroines who've given their lives in helping to save others from the disease. And have you noticed how in this crisis it is some of the humblest members of society who most inspire our admiration? I think of Gino, the elderly doctor in Italy who came out of retirement to save lives. Or of Sonia, the 26-year-old Turkish migrant working night shifts in a care home in North London. Or of Suzanne, the Belgian Covid patient who left her ventilator to someone younger than herself, each of whom gave their lives to save others. Faith is a precious gift and it works itself out in love. Of course, at this time, our concerns are most especially for our own families, our nearest and dearest. But this crisis also impels us to think about those who are in the most need, whether locally or globally. I run a Bishop's Appeal each Advent, and last Advent we raised money for the Anglican Communion Fund, because that fund supports the global church. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God believe also in me. May God deepen our trust and faith. May that faith project forwards into a living and confident hope. And may our faith work outwards in loving action towards our families, our neighbours and to the world. Amen. We turn now to the living Lord Jesus in prayer, confident that he intercedes for us at the very throne of heaven. 
to the simple uh, bidding, living Lord Jesus, please respond, hear our prayer. Living Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray now for one another, isolated yet gathered here, scattered in our homes yet united and never alone perhaps locked out of our churches, yet very much alive. And we praise you, Lord, that this is how your church began. Be alive in us. Speak to us in new ways. Hold us when we are overwhelmed. Help us to help one another and to reach out to those in need. Help us to be living and sharing Jesus-shaped lives in our homes, as well as in our communities. Living Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. We pray for our spiritual and political leaders, that they might work together to provide wise counsel, make courageous and right decisions, and inspire us amidst a new world. We pray for the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby, for our own archbishops and bishops, pausing to name them. We pray for our local clergy and lay leaders. We pray especially today for the Anglican Church of Kenya, her people, and Primate, the Most Reverend Jackson Ole Sapit, Archbishop of all Kenya. Provide for them in difficult times. Form them into a growing and caring Anglican Church, boldly proclaiming Christ. Enable them, as the whole people of God, to be a wholesome church for a wholesome nation. Living Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Looking with you at your world, Lord Jesus, we put our hope and trust in you. As we are brought low and brought together by the coronavirus epidemic, we thank you that you know our troubles and you care for each person. Help us to care for each other locally and internationally. We pray for peace where there is none, for a taming and containing of the coronavirus, and for many to recognise Jesus as the cure for the far more dangerous virus of our sin. We pray for the millions suddenly without jobs, income, food, or a place to call home. And we ask you to multiply compassion and action, especially our own, that you might be God with us as we are with the poor and the needy. Living Lord Jesus, Hear our prayer. And in a moment of shared silence, we pray for any we know and care about facing particular difficulty, lifting them as it were before God. Lord, take our burdens and the cries of our hearts as we bring them to you. Hear our cries, answer our prayers, protect the vulnerable, heal the sick, comfort the dying, and help us to play our part in this as fully as we are able, enabled by you. Living Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. 
Eternal God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life, grant us to walk in his way, to rejoice in his truth and to share his risen life, who is alive and reigns now and forever. Amen. And now, each in our own homes, let us pray the prayer that Jesus taught us, saying it in the language of our own hearts. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We give you thanks and praise for the gospel we have received. Christ died for our sins. Alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Death comes to all through Adam and sin reigns for a time. New life without end comes through Christ and he reigns forever. Alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Death, where is your victory? Death, where is your sting? Death is swallowed up in victory, the victory you give us in Christ. Alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. We have been crucified with Christ and live his risen life. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. My prayer, our prayer, is that as this service draws to a close, you will have known the Lord Jesus alive and present with you, and that he will breathe his peace upon you. Do join us next week for another international service led by the Reverend Neil Vigers. This will again be available at www.anglicancommunion.org 
uh, forward slash worship from seven o'clock in the evening GMT on Saturday the 16th of May. After the words of blessing that I will shortly pronounce, we have a wonderful musical blessing to enjoy. It's been produced remotely during lockdown by Christians from many different denominations and independent churches in the UK, including a number of Anglican churches. So now, may the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the abundant blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you. Thank you. from heaven this isn't second guessing we know that we are protected may the peace that surpasses all understanding be our message grace and favors in your nature in your essence may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and the children and the children may his favor be upon you and a thousand Children and their children. 